Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation of Espresso, an entropy and shape aware time series segmentation for processing heterogeneous sensor data. I am Shohre Del Dari from RMIT University. Today we are surrounded by a huge number of sensors collecting multivariate time series data constantly. They can be used for different applications such as medical purposes, human activity recognition tasks, smart home, electricity distribution, planning, and so on. Annotation and extracting meaningful segments from this huge amount of data is challenging, expensive, and sometimes infeasible. That's why self-supervised and unsupervised methods are a hot topic these days. Segmentation will help us to extract meaningful parts from unlabeled data and make it ready for further processing. We define time series segmentation as a change point detection technique which looks for changes in properties of the given time series to find the most homogeneous segments that can represent a specific state of the system. Existing methods can be categorized based on the features they consider to detect changes. The statistical differences between time intervals have commonly been measured in many parametric and non-parametric methods. Some of these methods are based on assumptions on the distribution of data, while others try to calculate the relative ratio of distributions of subsequent segments, or focus on the information gain of segments, or the dependency and correlation between segments. The other category of segmentation techniques focuses on the temporal pattern and shape-based features. Each of the mentioned methods is applicable to only one type of data sets. For example, shape-based methods can detect changes in signals with repeating patterns, while the statistical methods are able to detect sudden changes in the statistical features or distribution of adjacent segments, but not gradual changes. However, input data can be any combination of these characteristics. According to these characteristics, we categorize the input data into four different types and chose seven multivariate datasets covering different types of categories. We showed that our method is applicable across different types of input. We proposed a hybrid approach and combined shape-based and statistical characteristics to make Espresso applicable to a wide range of datasets. First, we extract the most similar patterns using matrix profile. Then, as an enhancement to flaws as a shape-based segmentation method, we find the chain of similar patterns for each subsequent based on the Euclidean distance as a similarity measure. The dotted arcs here show the newly added pairs in the chain. Next, we assign a weight to each extracted pair of similar patterns based on the similarity measure and temporal distance. In this picture, each arc shows a pair of most similar patterns. The thicker arcs show higher similarity and lower temporal distance. The main idea here is that repeated patterns relate to the same class of segments and hence occur within close temporal proximity. Therefore, we wouldn't expect to see many arcs crossing the segment boundaries. Time steps with less density of crossing arcs will be selected as segment boundary candidates. We borrowed the idea of information gain segmentation from IGTS. However, instead of dynamic programming, we use a greedy search across extracted segment boundaries to find the segment with the minimum entropy. At each step, we select the boundary candidates which minimize the given entropy function. We compared our proposed method against four other baselines across seven multivariate datasets with different size dimensionality, sensor type, and applications, and evaluated the result using three metrics. First of all, we showed that the performance of our method is less dependent on the only input parameter, which is the length of subsequence. Here, we compare sensitivity of Espresso on each of the benchmarks across PayMap and hand gesture dataset. This table shows the average value of RMSE and F-score across a range of subsequence and subjects within each dataset. We also compare the effectiveness of each method according to the category of input. Here you can see FLOSS as a shape-based method cannot capture segments in datasets which contains not repeating patterns. On the other hand, statistic-based methods do not perform very well in continuous datasets with gradual changes. But Espresso outperforms all other methods in all types of input data, no matter if the data include continuous changes or repeated patterns. 
An additional study is performed to investigate the contribution of both the temporal shape and entropy-based components of espresso individually across different types of time series. To conclude, we highlight the main contribution of our work. Espresso integrates temporal shape and entropy-based properties of multidimensional time series. This hybrid method enables Espresso to be applicable across broad range of inputs. Espresso only depends on one parameter which can be selected with minimal risk. An embedded channel ranking has been utilized in Espresso to make segmentation more robust to noisy or irrelevant channels. We also explored two real-world case studies to, um, about work routine deviation and changes in emotions. Thank you for watching this video.